All right, man, let's talk about Kevin Hart. I told you I had a Kevin Hart video I've been trying to get to in weeks. Uh, he is the new Richard Pryor. I'm going to talk about that in the latter half of the video, but it seems like Kevin Hart is the new uh, token black man in Hollywood, all right? He's the guy that um, that continues to play a very repetitive uh, character, uh, scared. I'm going to show you how this tie into Richard Pryor, too. Scared uh, black man, uh, a degraded black man his uh, one of his latest movies in uh with mark warburg me time uh, uh yeah then me time uh now he playing a stay-at-home black dad right and even regina hall is in this video again she is the very powerful successful uh wife right and he's a stay-at-home dad who makes the kids smoothie who's volunteer at the school and regina hall is this uh architect who um pays all the bills all right and once again kevin hart kevin hart is playing this scared or this degraded or reduced and they when you talk about degraded um usually talk about degrading uh women or feminists or degrading um black women okay that's what you usually talk about but in this movie he you know he is a stay-at-home mom Stay at home, basically stay at home mom. That's exactly what he is. And like I, I say this first, I love Kevin Hart, dude. Love his stand ups, uh, love his comedy. But at this point, he continued, you know, he came in the game. One of the first movies I seen him in was Paper Soldiers. He came as this scary guy in Paper Soldiers, and then he's never really switched up the role. He's always this limited, scary um, black man in the movies of his central intelligence. I mean, if we start off with Paper Soldiers and Dame Dash, you really put them on. Um, you know, if it's uh, Me Too, if it's the man from Toronto, um, I mean, you can keep going on and on. He's like this clumsy, scared a black man that's scared of everything. I mean, we can go down the movie list, you know, and I kind of alluded this in my video uh, about Eddie Martin when I was talking about uh, the last the Me Too review and how it's he said a Rotten Tomatoes uh, record for um, uh, being the worst rated movie by Rotten Tomatoes was seven percent, right? And he is you know he just continues to play this role. And when you start looking at Eddie Murphy, you know what I'm saying Eddie Murphy is. You know, Eddie Murphy plays a numerous role. This fly player nigga or player guy, excuse my language, player guy in, in, in uh, uh, the movie with uh, Holly Berry and them, uh, Boomerang. If it's being a player prince and coming to America, if it's being a fly cop in, in Beverly Hills cop, you know what I'm saying? If you look how broad it is, if it's being a, a goofy, funny character, uh, the dragon in Mulan. You know, if it's being Dr. Doolittle uh, uh, silly, then turning the buddy and being cool. I mean, once you start going up and down uh, Eddie, Her Eddie uh, Murphy's uh, filmography, he he doesn't continue to play the same uh, role. Eddie Murphy played fly shit, goofy shit, funny stuff. Uh, I mean, from Shrek, he, he covered it all. Even with Kevin Hart playing some of those animated films, he the scary fucking dog. Tell me I'm lying. He always a scary, um, uh, scared to do this. I can't do this type of dude. I mean, Eddie, you know, Eddie Murphy got 48 hours trading places. Harlem Knights also like, dude, vampire from Brooklyn. I mean, you can just keep going on and on. Life, he got the goofy, scary characters. He got the player characters. He got a nice balance in uh, Norbert. And, and it just seemed like Dolomite of my name was a fucking cl instant classic. And it just seemed like Kevin Hart just continues to play the token black guy, deluded black guy, degraded black guy. And I think me time was rock bottom being a stay at home, weak black dad that volunteers at the school, how a uh, school who makes their kid lattes, right? Who got degraded at the talent show by his son for forcing them to play piano. For not having a job, for not bringing the income, they would never allow Mark Wahlberg, Leo DiCaprio, uh, or anybody, Jim, even Jim fucking Carey, to play a role that been reduced in the way that this role has been reduced um, 
that Kevin Hart has been reduced. He hit a rock bottom in me, me time. He hit a rock bottom, and it wasn't even like a classic movie. It wasn't even something that Kevin Hart had to do. It wasn't something that Kevin Hart had to do. And Kevin Hart is becoming a token black dude in Hollywood playing the same type of fucking characters, bro. And it's not like he always played a player or he always played what Liam Nelson play is the uh, the CIA agent that kick ass and take names. You know what I'm saying? It's not like he, he played the cool fly motherfucker all the time or the serial killer all the time. He played a, the goofy, degraded, clumsy, scary black man. You know what I'm saying? And it's starting, it's starting, it's starting, it's starting to see that he's a token guy. He's seen to play those roles. Now he got his own laugh out loud network, right? His own platforms. And they allow him to be this token black guy. Uh, a lot of people say, well, Kevin Hart get deemed, you know, he get, you know, he get all these movies and he get all these roles because he's the token black guy because he's safe and they not scared of Kevin Hart or, or, or nothing like that. And fine. And his limitation is that he can't host Academy Awards because some tweets he said uh, uh, decades ago, 10, 12, 13, 15 years ago. No matter how much they limit it and degrade him and make him look soft and terrible in movies, and, and Kevin Hart is probably the totally opposite of real life. You know how, uh, you know, Eddie Murphy, who was that joking about Michael Jackson and stuff, man? And, um, yeah, I think it was a uh, Eddie Murphy. It was somebody talking about Michael Jackson. Uh, it was Chris Tucker talking about man, Michael Jackson. Man, y'all think he just like Michael Jackson might be a bad motherfucker, man? Like Tito, am I gonna car? Pull up a damn Tito. Bro. He probably a badass dude. The perception is a little Michael and all that. But remember, Eminem started talking shit about Michael Jackson, and Michael Jackson bought his masters or his whatever it was publishing and shit. He held his nuts on him and them. I'm pretty sure Kevin Hart is not to push over to walk over there and make him see him in movies. And maybe he comfortable. Maybe he comfortable with that perception. You run up on Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart probably put you on your neck. And like I said, this I'm saying this from a, a good place. I'm trying to say it from a good place. I support them and everything Kevin Hart do. I'm not here to say, oh, Kevin Hart not that funny and be hating on Kevin Hart like the rest of these niggas do. No, I'm not here to do that. But he reached a place where he playing the same role and they even degraded him worse in this movie. And the movie wasn't even good enough to be degraded in. It's time for Kevin Hart to switch it up like Eddie Murphy did and switch it up a lot. You showed us you can be the goofy, scary black dude. Now show us that you can be that dude. You can be that player, that fly dude. That serious character type of dude. Show us that. Show us that. Show us that. Show us some versatility. You know, you ain't if you can't be the player fly dude, show us that you could be something else. Will Smith do it all the time. Comedy, the serious roles, the stoic roles, to you know, uh, you know, superhero roles, to, to stoic comedy or serious comedy type of roles. He showed he showed all the time. He kept my heart switch it up. He kept my heart switch it up. Is the million dollar question. But then again, when you talking about uh, when you talking about uh, when when you talking about uh, Richard Pryor. Richard Richard Pryor was just like Kevin Hart, always being scared. Always being scared. Hold on. Always scared. Hold on. <laughs> Richard Pryor is back. <laughs> <laughs> and this time he's more scared than ever. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Richard Pryor is scared for no reason. <laughs> and that's how it was Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor and his stand up was scared for no reason. Richard Pryor was uh <laughs> Richard Pryor was always scared. Which way is up? Oh, 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 which way is down? Oh, 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 stand up. How you putting hurting on your ass? You know what I'm saying? He was always scared, dude. And that's the Kevin Hart is starting to become the new Richard Pryor, bro. Always scared. Every movie he play in, he's scared. Every movie he play in, he's scared. Every movie he play in, you know what I'm saying? Dorsha. That's Kevin Hart. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know what I'm saying? And they they do they 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 fun black guys like that. They keep black, they love to show them guys off. The ones that's always scared and make us seem to be weak. And that's cool to have, you know, a comedians like that. That's fine and dandy. I ain't mad at that. But when you always playing, yeah, you always scared in everything you do, bro. You don't find a problem with that. Why you can't be the hero? Mark Wahlberg, Dwayne Johnson always got to be the heroes. You know what I'm saying? And Kevin Hart, the hero, is like, oh, he finally mustered up the courage to be the hero. He finally, he finally, you know, he finally uh, 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 found his, his spinach to be the hero. He finally became tough. Well, he did it by accident or some shit like that. And Richard Pryor was the same way. Everything scared Richard Pryor. And Kevin Hart, the new Richard Pryor. It, at the end of the day, Richard Pryor's done a, a, a abundance of great things throughout comedy. But one thing he was was scared in every goddamn turn of the way. He was scared. He turned off the light. Turn on the cable box. Oh, the cops coming. You like damn. You know what I'm saying? And they do that to they do that to make us look weak, bro. They do that to make us look real, real weak. And Kevin Hart, man, you know, he need to change his roles up. He need to change his roles up. He need to change his roles up, bro. He need to change his roles up and strap his nuts on to do something different. You know, play some, play some different type of roles. You know, he 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 pretty much crossed that line, but he pretty much in danger of being a new Richard Pryor, being scared of everything. But that's all I got to say, man. Let me know what you girls and guys think, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit on notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Um Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit on notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop the video, um, hit the music and time playlist, hit my link tree, find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Anchor, the whole nine. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you girls and guys think about the video one time for the one time good fella tv peace don't forget to support my detroit channel right here on youtube more city sports talk more sports news and entertainment around the city of detroit appreciate the love support peace